people often ask me how they can learn violin making and uh, there's lots of different ways. One of the best ways of learning violin making is actually at a violin making school. Here in Cremona, they opened the violin making school in the 1930s. One of the Bolognian born violin makers, Fiorini, was a really strong advocate for opening this school. He'd actually bought all of Stradivarius's tools that were left and donated them to the city of Cremona and uh, he, one of the stipulations was that they open a violin making school and that the students of the school could study Stradivarius's tools so they would learn to make beautiful instruments like Stradivarius again. I've actually never been to the school so I'm going to see if they let me have a little look. So the school is just up here. I'm gonna have a little look and see if I can uh, talk to someone. Okay, so I had a quick chat to one of the teachers there who graduated from the school in 2000, so that's 22 years ago. And he is, uh, he suggested I come back and talk to Maestro Spitzaga, who, you know, who can make a decision whether I can film there or not. Hopefully I can share this with you. I went inside and had a look. It looks really good, like uh, there's lots of workbenches and things like that. So I'm just at the Cremona Violin Making School and uh, the master here allowed me to do a little bit of filming, you know, what the, what the students are doing uh, at the moment here. So they're all kind of basically learning violin making. It's just amazing, like everyone's working on different parts of their instruments. This is Liv who's, uh, who's working on a purfling at the moment. <laughs> so, so Liv, how long have you been at the school now? So this is my third year at the school and um, yeah. I started this uh, viola in, in January. The first one and a half years I was kind of practicing tool use, sharpening and important yeah, things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't have much experience and um, yeah. now I'm just doing the purfling for nice. yeah, this yeah. viola here. What do you find the biggest challenge? <laughs> I think for me, um, first of all, patience. You know, I thought I was a patient person before I started um, this work, and I realised you know, it kind of requires endless patience. And I think the second thing is just really kind of using my eyes. I, I thought I was um, good at recognising shapes and patterns, yeah, yeah. but it's so intricate you really need to spend so long training your eyes yeah, to kind yeah, of, yeah. you know, understand curves and, yeah. and things like yeah. that. Oh, great. So you, you came out of an enthusiasm, like, into, but did you play violin before? Um, yeah, I've, I've played off and on for a few years. Actually, it's been about 10 years that I've had a fascination with violin making. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, I, I yeah. happened to visit um, a workshop in Florence um, oh, right. about 11 years ago. Um, wow, and ever yeah, since yeah. then, it's been at the back of my mind, you know, yeah. what an amazing craft, how yes, interesting, yeah, yeah, what a... Yeah. You know, perfect blend of science and artistry. Yeah, fantastic. And so, yeah. yeah. I get a lot of people asking me because they really want to get into violin making. And how can I learn this? And and so uh, this is definitely a very good way of learning. Yeah. For yeah. sure. <laughs> yes. I, you know, I felt yeah. like that for so long, and then I yeah. decided just to finally find somewhere to study. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And two years at the start to mainly learn how to use tools and things like that. That's fascinating. Yeah, yes. That's, yeah. yeah. And I think I needed that time. You know, we'll start in, in the third year and go straight into making. But I'm glad I took the time. Yeah, you know, yeah. I really needed to practice actually how to use my hands yep. and yeah. tools in the right yep. way. So, so where's everyone? from here. Okay, Liz. so Gabriella is from Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, Catalina oh. is from Italy. <laughs> uh, Andrea, Italy. Yep. Um, Yushang is from Taiwan. Yep. Oh, fantastic. Wow, yes, from everywhere. That's, from yeah, South yeah. Korea, China, yeah, that's amazing. Bolivia, yes, South America. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And just one from England. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Yeah, awesome, thanks. <laughs> This is such an amazing place. I mean, there are workshops all around. There's another workshop here. Uh, the people I was talking to here were mainly third years. And uh, so to do a course here, 
You can do either three years or five years. The five-year course actually you take two years to really learn the tool skills and uh, get good at using the tools. And that's the thing that a lot of people ask me, how do I get into violin making? The first thing you need to do is learn how to use the tools. They're really quite tricky to use if you've never used them before. Once you've learned the tool skills, things become so much easier. So you walk into the entrance there, there's the first classroom, second classroom, there's more classrooms scattered all around with like amazing teachers like violin makers that have made a name for themselves already. And the amazing thing is that this school is actually free. Like if you can live here, pay for your accommodation, it's free to go to this school. The only thing is you need to learn Italian beforehand. So you have gotta learn Italian to a level where you can understand the teachers. So that's important. But once that's done, you can learn at this school for free. Yeah, I'm just quickly gonna take you to another place that I saw, uh, you know, it's just amazing because everything about this place is violin, violin making and things like that. So this is just a little cupboard next to the lift. <laughs> but it's all, you know, everything, it's, it's all violin making. It's just truly amazing. And it's a beautiful place. It's like actually a beautiful school, beautiful building. What a great place to learn violin making. This is Angelo Spetsaga, one of the teachers here and vice director of the school. And uh, we were just talking about like how the school started and things like that, and that they actually had access to the tools of Stradivari. Yes, yes. Um, At first... Uh, uh, the school was born uh, because uh, Raffaele Fiorini yes, made that's it, right. uh, yes, a lot yeah. of uh, parts and design yes, and yeah, model yeah. from uh, Stradivari's uh, yep. workshop. And uh, during the 200th uh, anniversary of that mm -hmm. of Stradivari, that was born uh, the, yeah, the school. Yeah. At first time, there was uh, less uh, student mm. and they make violin. But they yeah, work yeah. on the wood for oh, furniture yeah, or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, wow. But yeah. after some years, the school mm. started mm. the right Great. way. Yes, and yeah. there was a very, very famous uh, Italian maker that yeah. uh, work uh, in, uh, in the school, like yes. a teacher, and yes. also have a lot of collaboration. Mm. Yes, yeah. Do you remember uh, mm. Sgarabotto and yes. uh, Galimberti yes. and uh, Ornati also? Mm. We have yes, a lot yeah. of part yeah. of Ornati's uh, wow. workshop. Wow. Yes, he donated a lot yeah, of yeah. Uh, model and yeah, uh, yeah. part of That's some uh, wow. uh, instrument uh, yeah, to yeah. donate it to the school. Because a lot of that information kind of got lost a little bit, didn't it, in the, in the sort of uh, late 1700s, early 1800s? Yes, yeah. sure. Yeah. And after, during the 1970, yep. 1980, yeah. 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 Uh, there was a, a boom yes. of uh, yeah. the International yes, School of Engineering. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. also because the, the, the director at this time mm. um, wanted to um, show yeah. everything about our school yes. around yeah. the world. Yes. And yeah. a lot of teachers come outside uh, Cremona right. and yes. outside Italy yeah. Yeah. to show and to yeah. inform people yeah, yeah, a student yeah. that's in Cremona there's also a school yeah, international yeah. school of violin making come to visit yeah, and come yeah. to work Fantastic. to study in yeah, Cremona too. yeah oh it's great well thanks for talking that's great yes yeah. <laughs> appreciate you're, you're it you're welcome yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes it look so easy <laughs> So this violin making school opened in 1938. So it's actually, I mean, relatively new. It's opened a year after my father was born, actually. So I'll always know how old it is. But that really revived that tradition of violin making in Cremona. And it's just amazing that now there are well over 200, 250 violin makers based here in Cremona from all over the world. Um, you know, it's the place to be as a violin maker. So if you're thinking about studying violin making this is one of the options that you have well that was an amazing experience uh, I'm so glad I came in and talked to everyone okay now time to have some coffee so anyway thanks for watching I hope this answered some of your questions of course you know as always remember to like the video subscribe and hit the little bell because that way you find out next time I post a new video. Keep making beautiful music and thanks for watching. Bye!